didn't think I was going to let this week pass and not talk about Vincent and Brianna's budget. Because these numbers are not adding up, girl. Because and they're not adding something. Something is strange about these numbers. So, you know, I'm not really like really good in math and stuff like that. So maybe you guys can help me out to put these numbers together. But let me tell you. Excuse me, girl. I just had me some coffee. It just seemed like they are living way beyond their means. B these numbers are not right, girl. Mm -mm. Something ain't right. Mm -mm. Welcome back to church, girls. And faith girls want to get married, too. I don't think Vinny's making no money. I think Vinny's making less than $20,000 a year. Mm. But you could you help me out when th these numbers, okay? Thank you for your love and support. 10,000 subscribers. Yeah! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. Thank you. Thank you. Be sure to watch my other videos. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to drop any Ready to Love today. Tonight is Married at First Sight. So, yeah, it's all Married at First Sight today. Thank you for your love and support with my books available on Amazon. Check them out. Show your love. Uh, Twitter times, guys, you may need a uh, uh, journal. Write in your journal. Stop putting your marital stuff out there for everybody to read. If you're going through, girl, don't put it out there. Call 911, but don't put your stuff out there like that, okay? Uh, marriage is the covenant. Don't put nobody in there, with the exception of a married counsel. The naked wife. I know a lot of wives are naked wives. Moments of gratitude. This, these are my journal interests. Um, in Christ I am. I'm doing a, a series on that right now in reference to Paige, loving ourselves, but especially for women, loving ourselves. And listen what I'm wearing. Choose happy girl, because Brianna and Vincent is not happy. All right, so we saw the budget and they're putting in all this budget and I'm trying to wonder what kind of budget app that is that they are using because those numbers, girl, just seem oh so crazy. Girl, Vincent did not look happy. She was, look, do I have the picture? She was looking at him like her like, because you know, she making all that y'all marry these dusties that ain't making no money ladies i'm just trying to tell you then he said he wanted to save more money okay did he not say that and so they went over the budget so uh this is actually somebody else's budget i borrowed i would give her credit but since she came for me early this year i ain't gonna give her no credit but i'm just gonna say it's not mine okay this is i'm actually using somebody else's but anyways we see we see this, right? This was on the TV. We all took pictures of it because we just couldn't believe it. Our mouse hit the floor. And we see we see that their monthly expenses, monthly expenses is what? $9,127.50. And you know what I always say? Just go ahead and round that up to... Uh, Go ahead and round that up to $10,000, right? Look at that budget really good. Mm -hmm. So let's run over this. Their expect cookie is, uh, no, let me go to the other one. But this is the one that has has the, the total amount on it. Okay, so it says cookie is the dog. Okay, a lot of people ask, what's cookie? She, bu she buy $90 worth of cookies? No, 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 that's the dog, okay? You know people love their dogs. That's fine, I don't have a problem with that. $90 a month for cookie. I don't know if that's normal. I don't have any pets, so I, I don't know. I do know my girlfriend had a dog and it, she was he was very expensive, okay? So I don't know. Uh, personal maintenance, $405. One of the things Vincent brought up was her hair. First thing he said, hair. She was like, yeah, I spent about $200, $250 a month on my hair because she gets it, gets it braided. He was like, I don't have any hair since like $40. $40 sounds about right for the guys twice a month or whatever. Um, no, if you up here in New York, that, <laughs> that's one haircut in New York. Okay. Our personal maintenance, okay. Electricity is $85. I love that because mine is, well, I, we have a house. So mm. entertainment, $350. That's a lot of money for entertainment, okay. Is that going to the movies? Is that eating out? 
you know, when you say entertainment, what kind of entertainment they're talking about? Okay, I need to know. Uh, insurance is 350. Now, I have a question about that. What kind of insurance is that? Is it car insurance? Is it um, health insurance? Shouldn't health insurance be coming from the job? Is it apartment insurance? Maybe it's apartment insurance, okay? Because y'all need to have insurance. If you don't have insurance for your apartment, get it today. Maybe, maybe, maybe that's apartment insurance. Help me out here. Tell me what y'all think, okay? Now, let's go to the next picture, right? So we we going we going to say that's house insurance, apartment insurance. I'm making the assumption, okay? So then insurance, so phones $215. I heard a lot of people will say, "Oh my god, that's a lot for phones." I'm making the assumption that's for both of their phones. Um, I don't know. I've had the same phone company for a few years and so I I spend about a little bit under $200 for three phones. My husband has a job phone, but um, we recently got him a personal phone on my phone. So I've had my phone company for years. Uh, then I added Lex. Lex was on mine and then I added Big Mike, okay? So phones is 215 A lot of people were saying that's a lot. I don't know. Internet is $80. Isn't that in your cable bill? Y'all don't get internet in your cable? I don't know, girl. Student loans, $200, girl. What kind of student loans you have for $200 a month that you're not paying off, sis? I just want to know. Because I had less than $20,000 in student loans, and mine was not $200 a month. And she's a civil engineer, okay? Uh, credit cards, $300 a month in credit cards. $300 a month in credit cards, but you're spending $405 a month in 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 personal maintenance and three hundred and fifty dollars in insurance, but you have three hundred dollars a month in credit cards and two hundred dollars a month in student loans. Make it make sense to me. Now I'm all for fixing up yourself and the baby, but not no, not no three hundred fifty dollars a month in entertainment when I got a two. $3,000 a month credit cards and $2,200 a month in student loans, okay? Travel, $500. Where are they going? Is that gas for the month? Where, where are they traveling to for $500? Or is that Vinny, watch my video, Vinny Uber travel expenses with all the gas? Where are you going to? Every month that your travel is $500 or is that gas for the car? Because we do have one car and it's about $40 a week to fill up. Of course, you know, new president is in. It's probably going to go up to about $80 a week. Okay. So the last time I went to the gas station, which was last year and Big Mike wasn't here. I need to call him and ask him how much it is to fill up my truck. My car, we have a very family friendly car, American made. So it's not, so we're looking at $40 a week for gas for us. So I don't know what the travel is. Is that to pay for, is that her paying for him to go to New York? $357 a month in closing. First, she said $300. Vinny had a problem. He put $150. She changed it to $250, $200. And so now on here is $357.57. Y'all buy clothes every month, people? Tell me. Every month you go to the store and buy clothes? Are you kidding me? Well, what you doing with all the other clothes you had before? Do you throw them out? Do you donate them? What you do with them? How much a month do you guys spend in clothes? Because I don't spend that much. I don't shop every month. You know, I might take the kids to the store and, you know, buy them little knickknacks and stuff. But no, $357 a month on clothes. And let me see another thing people are saying our other people is we are jealous of them. Honey, my husband makes a lot of money. I don't have any reason to be jealous of anybody. Okay, we're just looking at these numbers to see if they make sense. So I'm not jealous of the budget because they're obviously living way be beyond their means. Now, 
right down here, it says savings $3,000 a month. That's good. Because $3,000 a month in savings equals $36,000 a year. Is that right, mathematicians? Did I calculate that right? Is that right? They say three thousand. They save three thousand dollars a month. Three thousand times twelve is thirty-six thousand dollars a year. So they are spending thirty. They are saving thirty-six thousand dollars a year, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's keep on going over this budget. Now, car note eight seven. Uh, he said his car is pretty cheap. She said hers is not. So is that just for the car or is that car and insurance? Well, it says car note. So is this the car insurance up here? Where's the insurance? 315. Oh, that makes sense, right? $315 a month in car, ins in car insurance. In car ins insurance, that's starting to make sense. Nah. Oh, they're down south. No way. No way. If Bree's cars is expensive, there is no way she's only paying three, three hundred fifty nine, fifteen, fourteen dollars a month in insurance. But she's down south, so it may be a little bit cheaper down south. But she's also twenty eight. I don't know, cause I know my husband pays. Our car note initially was about a thousand dollars a month. That's the for the truck and the insurance. And then, uh, then it went all the way down. Or car insurance, or car note now is seven hundred dollars a month, maybe. I don't know. Okay, so car note is eight seventy. So, is that Bree's car? Because she said her car is very expensive. Vinny said his car is cheap. There is no upkeep on his car. So her car note is, it, what kind of car are you driving, Bree? Okay. Gas is $160. Well, they must not be driving nowhere because is that car gas, house gas? I don't know. Groceries, $500 a month. That That's about, that's, uh, what you think? Is that decent for two people? That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money, groceries. And then over here, uh, entertainment is 350. So entertainment is 350, groceries is 500. So that's $850 a month. Y'all, these numbers not adding up. I'm gonna tell you why these numbers are not adding up, right? Let's go on. Personal maintenance. Okay, did we do that already? Four hundred and five dollars, right? Mm-hmm. Entertainment three fifty. Okay, so this is the person's uh, that I borrowed. I'm giving her credit without calling her name. Please do not call her name in my comment section because she came for me earlier this year. She liked to come for black bloggers, so. Uh, I didn't do this, this person. Okay. So their rent, we didn't see the rent. Did we see the rent? Did I see the rent? I thought I added the rent insurance. Anyway, so this person did it for us. So rent is $1,700. That's a mortgage. That's a mortgage down south. $1,700 should be a mortgage. Cause that's, that's our mortgage. That's about what my husband paid plus the insurance for the house and taxes. Matter of fact, I think it's less. Okay. Plus, you know, you got the insurance and the taxes. Okay. The car note is 870. Gas 160. The grocery is 500. Cookie the dog is 90. Personal maintenance 405. Electricity 85. Entertainment 350. But you'll have groceries for 500. Insurance is 315. Phones 250. Internet 80. Student loans $200. Credit cards $300. Travel 500. Clothing 350. Savings $3,000 a month. So we say. If they're saving $3,000 a month, $3,000 times 12 is what? $36,000 a year. But what is their income, right? We were making the assumption initially that their income was $109,000, 500 
we we initially thought okay brie was making well people initially thought brie was making one a hundred and nine thousand five hundred and thirty dollars right and that vincent's income was eighty nine thousand one hundred and thirty thousand people initially thought that i didn't think that because i i already had a girl a civil engineer on my channel that says civil engineer which is what brie does don't make a lot of money she says civil engineer make approximately seventy thousand dollars a year okay so the one hundred and nine thousand dollars is not Bree's income what is the hundred and nine thousand five hundred and thirty dollars well if you take their monthly expenses of nine thousand one hundred and twenty seven dollars and fifty seven cents multiply that by 12 that brings you to one hundred and nine thousand five hundred and thirty three dollars which is what is up here a hundred and nine thousand five hundred and thirty dollars so brie is not making a hundred and nine thousand five hundred thirty thousand three hundred thirty dollars no 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 that is their yearly expenses if you take the nine thousand one hundred and twenty seven dollars and fifty cents times twelve my clock fell that's their yearly expenses y'all did y'all see that let's go back they have two numbers here people initially thought the one hundred and nine thousand five hundred and thirty dollars was brief income and the eighty nine thousand one hundred and thirty was vincent's income to me you know i'm very analytical i'm like if this is one budget why would they separate the income because how would the calculator know what to take from what income how is it that their budget is one but then the the, the app separate their income because the budget income that we use when you put your income in there it's one total income so no brie is not making one hundred and nine thousand five hundred thirty dollars and vincent is not making eighty nine thousand one hundred thirty dollars their monthly expenses of $9,127.50 equals $109,530, which is the 109 up here. Are you with me? Did I lose you? <clears throat> I think the 109 Pfizer is their expenses, and I think the $89,130 is their income. I think that's their income. Brie, let's say Brie is making $70,000, right? Let's take the $89,130 minus the $70,000 that we think civil engineers make. Leaves us with a total of $19,130. That would mean that's Vincent's income. Vincent ain't making no money. You're not going to be out here without a college education degree. Excuse me. College is not for everybody. Okay. Let me say it again because I know somebody is going to say it. College is not for everybody. Number two. College is not for everybody, number three, okay? I said it three times. You need a trade. You need a training. You need something to be out here to be making some money. Vincent ain't got no trade. He don't have nothing. He's just throwing spaghetti at the walls and hoping that it will stick. Did he not say the girlfriend left him because she he didn't have a college degree that you shouldn't have gotten with him and because he wanted to become an entrepreneur? And how long was he broken up from the girlfriend? Because Married at First Sight started doing, uh, gathering their people last year, March. Vinny started his business April. What was going on in April? A pandemic. So it wouldn't make sense for somebody just starting their business. They're not making no money. He making maybe $20,000 a year. Because you're an entrepreneur, you're just starting out. There is no money. And y'all know, watch my other video. I think he's an Uber driver. He's driving all day. Where you're driving all, all, all day too. A couple of people saw him in the parking lot selling cars. Now, you know what I say? As long as you're doing a legal job to provide for your family, honey, go ahead and make that money.
So the numbers are not adding up because how are they saving $36,000 a year? And then you have, you have credit cards, $300 a month, student loan, $200 a month. Okay, let's calculate that. Let's calculate student loans, $200 a month. I don't know, who child, that's cheap. 200 times 12. That is, that is two, $2,400 a year. If she, if Brie, so let's say minus 36,000. She would still have 33,600 left. I hope these numbers are right, right? <clears throat> Let's take her credit cards of 300 times 12. Is $3,600 minus 36,000 is still has a balance of 32,400. These numbers are not right. They're not something that right. Because how you how you saving three thousand dollars a month, but you have credit card, ma'am. You have credit card bill. They need. Let me tell you. They need Dave Ramsey, Susie Orman, who else? Oprah, Amy. <laughs> these numbers are not right. Maybe y'all can make these numbers make sense. I think 109 is their expenses and the 89,000 is a, and then, and let's do another thing, right? If they are saving $3,000 a month, right? Which gives us a, a, a whopping $36,000 a year. Why didn't he want them to save more money? money please because if they save thirty six thousand dollars a year and pay down on a mortgage right that's your down payment for a mortgage first time home buyers they always get a lower rate you have to pay lower down even if they put forty thousand dollars on a house their mortgage is going to be pennies down south okay up up north is a little bit different so if they're saving thirty six thousand dollars a year how much more does he want them to save? It makes no sense, y'all. It makes no sense. And maybe, maybe, maybe this is after taxes, right? Because you have to make your calculations after taxes. So maybe the 89, 130 is after taxes. Because you know what the taxes, you, you got to pay all this, you got to pay all of that. So if they're saving $3,000 a month, a month, why is he crying that he want them to save more money? And he said he want to buy a house. With what money, Vincent? You got money. You got a job. You have some, some investment. You got good credit. Huh? If, if y'all are saving $36,000 a year, what's the problem? I know me. I don't think me and Mike to save thirty six thousand dollars a year. I don't think. So what's the problem? Why is she making a big fuss about saving more money? Cause he ain't got none. And when he talk about Bree is gonna be paying, paying, be his sugar mama, I believe it wholeheartedly. I did not take that as a joke. I don't care what y'all said. That was no joke. He got him a sugar mama and she going to foot all the bills because he ain't got no money. He's throwing spaghetti. He's just trying to figure stuff out. And he said it. He said he can't focus. And unfortunately for Brie, who wanted a man who could be a provider, she, she got a whole child. She got a whole child. I'm sorry. But maybe y'all can work these numbers out for me. If y'all need me to send them to you, I could send them to you, but you should be able to see them up here. Now, let me put them up one last time. But these numbers are not working out, girl. Something is a little off. Something is off with these numbers. Mm -hmm. Something is off, girl. Something is off. Oh, I'm so hungry. I gotta go eat something. 
something is off with these numbers, but maybe y'all could make it make sense to me. I think the 109 is their month, yearly expenses, as you can see. And then the the um the 109 is their income after taxes. I think that's what it is. And so that would mean they are living way below their me above their means. And if they save in $36,000 a year, why y'all have credit card bills for $200 a student loan? Just take that money and pay that off. Okay, because your student loan, you could pay, you could pay a lump sum at one time. Mm -hmm. You could pay them a lump sum. My little boy is up. It's almost time for me to go to uh, dress him for school. All right, I'm gonna run, but I want y'all to see these numbers and y'all can make it make sense to me. Okay. <clears throat> <sighs> Remember my books on Amazon, beloved. You see how hard I work for y'all. Show your love. And um, you can also cash at me coffee if you want, want to buy me coffee or PJs. Uh, Janice Hilton and Vidmo at Janice. Okay, I got to go. I love you. Bye.